Okay, assalamu alaikum. So back again with another video. This video is about the code, ladies and gentlemen. We are gonna start coding our uh, Python project. Okay, so let's start by just copying and passing the themes, pasting the themes in our themes project from another directory. So let's copy that from okay let's copy that from here to our data themes let's add the star you are gonna f uh, find the file in files in my repository so just make sure you visit that up it's in the description <coughs> three okay everything is in there our index should be empty and our main ui should stay the same. Okay. Let's 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 exit. Let's do data main. Okay, this is my project. Okay, let's just exit for now. Let's go. Let's open my index.py first things first we want to connect to my main.ui so let's first do the most important thing to import everything we need from py 5 so py 5 qt gui import everything and from py qt 5.qt widgets import asterisk everything so from from pi qt5 dot qt call import everything and from pi qt5 dot uic import load ui type uh, to connect to our database we are gonna need to import mysql.connector as mdb that's how i want it this time and i'm gonna import the sys module and the date time module i'm gonna create a variable called main ui and an empty one and i'm gonna unpack the result of load ui type on them as data main ui that we have and we want to connect to that's our ui and i'm gonna create a simple class i'm gonna call it main it's gonna inherit from a queue main window and the main ui that we have. I'm gonna pass it for now. I'm gonna create a function called main pass for now. If name okay equals equals dunder main run main. Okay so our main should contain the app the queue application sys.rgv window uh, this should be called main i guess okay so the window should show and the app exact for our loop okay okay so let's create our constructor in our main class so our init should have the parent equal to none super from main 
self put thunder in it so this is a thing q main window thunder in it so this is just the basic construction or the structure of every PyQt5 project that you are gonna do so copy paste this in a file that you want to save uh, to save it and go back to it later when you are gonna start a new PyQt5 project so that's how it goes you always gonna need this part of the, of the project and also you are gonna need the setup set up UI self okay I think that is it that is it okay let's go outside index.py okay so super glass dunder in it of type type main was never called okay so I need to have parent in here okay okay so this is our UI but nothing is working so far so let's just start with these buttons I want to navigate using these buttons and I don't want this bar to show up anymore so I just want this to be as simple as I need it okay so let's start with that Let's move on to the index.py and let's create a function that handles our buttons first. So we are gonna need handle buttons as a function. And with the self, the pass, I'm gonna need also the UI changes that I'm gonna have on my project. So pass. So actually this should be it first. This should be the first one. So dev UI changes. So pass okay. So this is my first functions. UI changes should contain uh, first the so first let's just hide the bar of the tab widget so let's let's go okay let's do let's just do pass here and let's save this and let's open the ui to see what's the name of the tab widget it should be default as tab widget okay this is the name copy that exit this got changes okay so vim index.py so these changes should be okay so should be self I guess so self tab let's paste it self tab widget tab bar so that's called tab bar set visible false so this is self explanatory I don't need to explain that and let's see what they change it shouldn't change for now and I'm gonna tell you why so nothing has changed so the bar still exists why because we didn't call the function in our main or in our constructor so in our constructor we need to call those functions or these functions so first let's call the UI changes okay and second let's call the handles handle buttons so this is the, this is the one should, uh, that should have buttons so now that tab widget bar should be gone okay it's 
not there anymore so we need a way to navigate our app so we don't have actually a way to navigate that anymore so let's go back index.py and set the header or just let's just start uh, also with the first one okay let's start with the okay 10 minutes okay let's start with the first tab widget in the code so we need to clarify or we need to modify this table here okay so the names should uh, the names can be uh, easily seen let's modify that so that should be in the UI changes we need to know what the name of the table is but from my experience the table should be table by default so self so I'm gonna call this header so self the table dot horizontal horizontal header okay so this header I need it for section for set section resize mode the first one and its index is zero the zero index header you should be stretched okay the second one which is the first index should be header view and it should be resize to content okay the header the last one should be set section to resize mode the second index the header view function to resize to contents so if you ever have faced trouble with any of the PyQt5 objects just go and google it out so open a firefox tab and do a search when you want to know something so if I didn't know how to resize the table I'm just gonna do pi qt5 for example a uh, table widget columns resize for example so let's see the results resize column width to fit into the Q table widget pi qt5 okay so this should be the result this should be the case okay so there it is so resize columns to contents but we want to resize okay let's open this in a new one let's open this in now one okay okay these are the things that you can do to your qt table widget so it's, it's pretty straightforward so you don't need actually to do that much of research so there it is again so it's pretty much straightforward and it's easy to do researches about the qt5 objects so everything is just in there so let's try that out and okay object has no attribute table okay so let's go to the main design data main ui and check the what's the name of our table no let's see change object name table widget okay let's call it table save exit and clear python3 index.py and there it is so everything is as it should be, quality stock, unit price. 
very good so we are officially done with the first one okay so let's move up to the next section so the add or the buttons first to access that section okay so let's do index py and let's go first of all let's name those buttons so let's open the design data main.ui and let's change the names of those buttons so let's open the object editor our property editor all should be named as a button first and that's all okay the add button button its function is adding okay this is a button also and is edit uh, hopefully we are gonna change these buttons in the end with icons so button settings so all edit or add edit and settings so that's all uh, save and exit and go straight forward to the code so index.py so go to I'm gonna go to uh, the handle buttons function and I'm gonna do what I do best okay so <laughs> so self that button we have a first button that's called all if I clicked that button I should connect it to this function so self dot something so I need a function so let's call this open so let's just create this first let's just delete all of this pass it and create those functions first so I need a function that opens the uh, all products so open all products okay I need a function that opens an add product okay okay products let's see let's leave it at there pro so let's open the edit product self okay and the final one is open settings okay so let's go back to our handle buttons and let's do self button all should if this has been clicked should we con we should connect this connect to self open all products no parentheses and self button what's the name of the second one add if this has been clicked should connect it to our self open add product okay the third one should be button uh, edit if this has been clicked should connect it to self open edit product the last one button settings if this has been clicked I should connect it to self open settings okay so let's open the index.py there is no errors okay there is an error so there is a connect I misspelled that wrong index so where is it okay there it is connect w key okay so nothing is working because we didn't actually tell the functions what should they do if we did click that buttons 
So we did connect the buttons to these functions, but these functions aren't doing nothing. So let's make them do the job they're supposed to do. So the first one. So the thing that we are gonna manipulate here is the tab widget. So let's do the first one should manipulate the tab widget. Let's just see if that's what it's called. Okay, tab widget, set current, index to zero. Okay. The second one should set the current index to one. Okay. The third one, the third widget, set current index to two. So it should set him. Okay, set that to the second tab. So the third tab actually, so zero, one, two. So this is the third one. Okay. Open setting. So this is uh, should be in tab widget, tab widget, widget. Okay. So I think I misspelled that now, sorry. So current index three. It's the third one. And this should be this should do the job actually. So let's try that out. No errors. The first one is all the add, the edit, and the settings. Okay, so this is good. So this is some empty spacing here. That's ugly, but uh, I need to change that. Okay, so everything is mess spaced. This also need to move up, or we need just to minimize the window. So let's just do that. The data main. UI. So we actually made it 22 minutes. So I'm just gonna add this last thing and I'm gonna exit and I'm gonna add the project or the product here. So let's move this up. Let's move this up. Minimize this. Okay. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. And this is just good. Okay, so save. Go back. Python 3 index. Let's see. Okay, this is working. But the space is still there. Okay, I don't know what's the problem actually. Let's move this down. Okay, let's move this down. So this is good, this is good, this is good, but this one is misspaced. So let's change that really quick, really quick. So let's space that down. Let's see. Okay. Uh, a last thing to do is to make the first tab is the default one so in the UI changes I need to specify the first tab so let just let me just show you why so if I did save in the designer data menu.ui as this third tab and saved it whatever changes I made and dot py index it should start there but what if I want every time I open the project by default I want it to go to the first tab so to fix that it's actually straightforward we already done that in the open our products so what I'm gonna do here is open so self dot open all products okay that should do the job now if I did open that there's a py so by default it's opened in the first tab so that's that take care see you next time